okay friends uh, already we have modeled a three story building which you seen in the last video okay, we have assigned all the materials material properties section properties uh, as well as uh, here we have assigned beam column and slab okay so here you should take the support okay should take it as a fixed support okay okay here i'll choose i'll go to assign command first i'll choose this node and i'll go to assign command i'll go to joint restraint there you can choose the first one okay, that is a fixed command okay i'll apply and okay okay in a similar way you choose all the supports or these nodes all four nodes okay then you assign a fixed support next uh, the building consists of column beams slab as well as the non structural elements such as wall okay we should take that one also okay so here i'll choose all the beams okay here i've written similar stories instead of i'll choose all stories okay so i'll select a beams I'll select beams here I have selected a beams okay I'll go to assign command I'll go to frame loads distributed okay the wall load comes under the red load here I'll take 14 kilo Newton per meter okay if you take 9 inch thick wall that is 230 mm wall okay, it's a unit weight and the density if you take 20 kilo newton per meter cube okay, it will be around 13.8 okay so i have taken 14 kilo newton per meter okay i'll assign to all the beams okay so here you can see okay the load is assigned to all the beams in all the stories whereas here bottom story is not assigned okay load on the bottom story okay i'll choose these four beams Again, I'll go to this one frame loads distributed and take 14 apply ok so <clears throat> this is the model which is assigned with all the properties all the sections as well as the load is also applied ok it's a simple model I have taken only it's of one room three stories building ok so you can use the same procedure to design many stories or you can go for uh, the larger area buildings okay so I'll, next I'll go to um, define command okay, we got a load patterns already we assigned load dead load as well as live load okay so we have dead load as well as live load okay already I've done, done this one next okay I can go for the lo load combinations we have load cases dead load and live load okay next i'll go to load combinations i need to make a new combo that is 1.5 dead load plus live load okay here i choose live load scale factor i'll make it as 1.5 for both the cases so that dead load is multiplied with 1.5 as well as live load is multiplied with 1.5 okay now i'll go to analyze first i'll check the model choose all those things okay the model has been checked no warning message were generated okay next i'll go to degree of freedom obviously three dimensions set load cases okay i'll run dead load live load as well as modal okay modal is never related to us so
so it is running the model is analyzing okay so we got a diffraction diagram okay now you can check the moment also okay uh, the deflections in y direction z direction you can check this one these things okay now i'll go for the d okay first we, we know we are uh, okay we got the deformed shape of a building i'll go to the forces okay under load case load combination on point five dead load and fly load you can check moment three three here apply okay okay we can see the bending diagram bending diagram of a building okay next i'll go to display you can see stresses okay you can check shear okay you should take moment 3 3 and shear 2 2 in a load combination right okay here you got a shear force diagram next again go to okay same thing okay you can see the values on the diagram okay here we got the shear forces okay it is 32.57 kilo newton something will get the shear forces next frame you can see the axial loads also axial loads in the columns okay apply okay so here you got the axial loads okay here uh, you got 415 kilo newton 276 138 okay something you got different uh, the forces or axial loads on the column okay okay you m always you must choose the load combination that is okay so that you can get the values with the factor of safety and as well as it's a combination also okay, dead load as well as lie load combination thank you okay friends if you like this video subscribe this channel and press bell icon and share to your friends thank you